More recently, on the 11th of August 2012, I had the pleasure of being with my family amongst 80,000 people in Hyde Park, watching on a big screen as Mo Farah won the 5,000 metres to complete an historic Olympic double. Seeing tens of thousands of people of all backgrounds cheering themselves hoarse and jumping for joy to celebrate the awesome achievement of a man who emigrated to this country from war-torn Somalia when he was a child was one of the most unifying things that I have ever seen. And the sight of him, draped in the Union flag during his lap of honour, was an especially poignant sight. Now, sport is one field amongst many in which black Britons have made great contributions to our country. And that is why Black History Month is so important. But it is equally important that it is not hijacked by those with a political agenda who wish to sow division. There have recently been disturbing noises in certain quarters from political activists who wish to attack British history, British tradition, British culture, and British institutions. For example, recently, attempts have been made to sully the reputations of towering figures in British history because the views of their time do not necessarily conform to today's values. Now, it is certainly true that history can be debated and can be interpreted in different ways, but it would be wholly wrong to attempt to rewrite our history, to indoctrinate our children with an anti-British propaganda and to seek to impose an ideological world view. These moves are dangerous. They will do nothing for inclusiveness. Instead, they will foster bitterness and resentment on all sides. So we must not go down this route. Instead, as my honourable friend, the member for Windsor said at the beginning of this debate, let us celebrate our commonality. Let us have more Mo Farah moments. Let us use Black History Month to celebrate the achievement of black Britons and bring people together across the country, not force them apart. Yeah. Yeah. Nice